Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Let's try this again. I went back to try and upgrade my weapons and armor. But unfortunately, I don't have enough resources, so I've messed around with my armor a bit. Reloads, recharges all weapons, powers, and temporarily boosts accuracy. Right. Damn it. How, how am I supposed to do this? I need to take out that fucking destroyer. Destroyer, stay alert! Get ready to You can fuck off. You'd go to low ammo now, wouldn't you? Right. Stop producing these fucking things, will you? Producing them.
Move. No, fuck's sake. This is stupid. This is going to be one of those things where I have to come back later. I fucking hate things like that. You're not the right level to be in this area. Well, fuck off with your levels. Fucking MMO shit. This is ridiculous. Can you just fuck off, the lot of you? this Damn it, right. Right, no more health in that one.
Right, I'm behind a thing. Oh, can you all fuck off with your things? Destroy is down. Yes. Jesus Christ. That was tough. Fuck. Oh yeah, I switched out one of my uh, things for a bot to help. Not, not sure how useful that was. But it did something. Okay, now that was. Uh, yeah, we we'll used the override key. Multiple mechanisms activating. The remnant tiller is online. Within years, helium three production will increase dramatically. That fan the good news. We have fuel. Let's get back to the surface. Yeah, god damn it. That was stressful. <sighs> that was worth it. Because we kind of need that fuel for further exploration of Andromeda. That we're probably never going to see. <laughs> right. Grab that. All right, I think we are done with this planet now. Whew. Man. That was a ordeal. It was that like damn destroy more than anything because it seemed to have an infinite supply of those damn bots with their lasers. Alright. Right, so I cleared up some of my infantry, so I should be able to pick up some more stuff now. Yeah, excellent. I need to invest some more skill points into Zap, make him a bit more powerful. Okay, we're pretty much done here now. Doesn't seem different up here. You sure we activated the tiller? The mechanisms are deep underground, so the effects are not visible. Within months, you'll begin to see a dramatic increase in helium-3 production. Not bad for a planet we wrote off. Not bad at all. Taking her up. Where to next, Pathfinder? Anywhere but here. I've had enough of this place. <laughs> right, we've got Vetra's Lord T. That's good. Uh, we need to do PB next. I'm not sure if Liam and I've well, I've already got Cora's loyalty. Ryder, Vetra wanted you to check in when you can. Will do. Right, I need to reread this because I accidentally read it when I was uh, trying to upgrade stuff. Hey, I've discovered someone who can help us find Puck. He might need a little convincing. When we go to Katara, poof, oh, for sake. Meet me in the bar, please. Let's go get my bot back. All right. Don't want to go back to Katara. Hey, can I see you in the med bay? Sure.
I've got to come this way anyway to talk to Vetra, so we might as well pop in and see Lexi. Oh, wait, hold on. She's over here. She must have some news about uh, an antidote for those people going crazy on Elden. Ah, oh, there you are. Going through the readouts from the cat facility. I've never seen such advanced genetic technology. Frankly, it's light years ahead of our capabilities. I ran across another memory fragment. Dad made Sam for Mom. To cure her. I knew that was part of it, but... You didn't know it was the driving force? He gave up everything trying to save her. You didn't realize how important his family was to him? I guess not. Maybe that's what he wanted you to see. I saw another of Dad's memories. I was in this one. Sarah, too. We were home visiting. Dad told us about going through the Charon Relay. So you got your sense of exploration from your father? We joked it was in our DNA. Then that part of him lives on. I saw another memory that Dad locked away. The day my mom died. I'm sorry, Ryder. Even in her last moments, Dad couldn't accept Mom's death. It's hard to let go of the ones we love. If you can't run from it, use it. Guess that's what he did. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, I thought you wanted to talk to us about something. Yes? No, I'll okay. You... I'll be here if you need me. Alright, fair enough. No, Vetra's probably in here. Damn it, Sid. What's going on? I get influence with power players, only to have it squandered by a sister calling in favors under my name. Do you know she got the genome for... Oh, what is it? Cats. Pulled from storage. One, there's no place to grow anything right now. Two, it seems they aren't even a food. So why? Lots of people love cats. They make them happy. I don't think we're in a position to put amusement over necessities. She just doesn't think. Tries to help everyone, damn the consequences. And she thinks what we do is so exciting, but doesn't really understand what it takes. How can she, when you keep trying to shield her from your work? I just didn't want her to grow up before she had to, like I did. She's shown she's ready. Trust that. You can't protect her forever. But what if she gets herself into another mess? What if she gets hurt? She'll have you to watch her back. I hate it when you're right. <laughs> She's going to go her own way, no matter what I do. If she does it without my help, she'll run into even worse trouble. Thanks for helping me with this. I swear, my sister isn't going to drag us into an ambush again. Good. Right, let's talk to other people. Liam's not in here. Let's have a chat with the crew. We haven't done that for a while. Hey, Cora, how's things? Back again? Nothing more? All right. See you later, Cora. All right. Or just you? Do all humans whimper in their sleep? Or just you? Uh, lost and found stuff. And Garn word of the day. How's things going, Liam? Pathfinder. Sorry if things got strange last time we talked. You're the first person I told about all that. It, um... Felt really good. I know it was really personal. Thank you for trusting me with it. You say that like I was making logical choices. Thanks for getting it. Anyway, made me think we should do more just out and about, off ship, like the market on Aya. I've got some contacts and some things I'd like your eyes on, but mostly it's a day out. 
Something familiar. Turns out I need that. Why not? Talk to Lee. Oh, right. Hey. Hello, Ryder. How's the face wound? <laughs> I think my scar will be impressive. Now you're gonna look even more badass. And more appealing. No doubt. Look at all the dates Drac gets. <laughs> Can you stay and talk some more? Yeah. Uh. See. Do you have a mate? A. I don't. Not for a long time. Right, that would do. Well, enough about that. Stay strong. Okay, uh, Drac, how you doing? Not in here. Jesus. Might as well check in with Gil. Oh, there he is. Did I hear right? You're going after the Archon ship? Looks like it. Last time we crossed his path, you nearly broke my baby here. Now, tell me you have a better plan of escape this go around. I've got it all under control. How naive do I look? Just... <clears throat> stay out of the skirt, huh? Out with it already. What's the deal with you and Kalo? Anything I should be concerned about? Ah, uh, twist my arm, why don't you? It it's contrasting styles more than anything. He's a blueprint guy. I'm gears and guts. Got ink on his digits, not grease, up to his elbows. If you didn't have me to balance him out, you might be in trouble. <sighs> Heck, maybe that goes both ways. How's your friend Jill doing? Good. Busy. Apparently, prepping multiple species for procreation is a lot of work. Who knew? Waiting to get it all started was killing her. Now she's being shot out of a cannon, so to speak. Regale me with some poker wisdom. <laughs> well, bluffing and reading players aside, poker is all about math. If the odds of getting the card you need are greater than the bet, make the bet. Fair enough. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. All right. And Drek, how you doing? Just talk to Kesh. Looks like some of the clan are back at the Nexus. Hired on as mercs instead of part of the initiative, but still. Good call you made. Letting her keep the drive core. New dawn for the Krogan, huh? Never thought I'd see the day. Sovereign Krogan as equal allies. My mother would have approved. Are you happy now that Spender's out of the picture? Damn right I am. Good riddance, too. Someone somewhere will take care of him. And you won't have anything to do with it, huh? Hold a grudge. Me? I would never. <laughs> we can talk more later. Sure. All right. Right. So, back to Kadara for PB. Over to Aya for uh, Liam. Or we'll better talk to these two just to, just to be safe. Ryder, might I borrow your research room access? What for? There's a small something I need to take care of. I might need your help if you could. I'll help if I can. Suvi, could you take the helm for a little while? I mostly need your authorization to add to the database. Is that our drive core? The full blueprint. Only a few are in the system. I had them all by memory. So I drew them out. Every line. All the specs. Gil will be needing them. I won't. You're still not comfortable with Gil being in charge of your Tempest, are you? Call it more memories. Of the time that they were going to scrap the whole project. Some engineering consultant kept insisting the ship would never fly right. He used a lot of Gil's arguments. I think that's why this hurts. The others died thinking we won. 
that their legacy was safe, and I failed them. You showed us the Tempest through your eyes. Why she matters. Even Gil sees it now. We forget all our technology didn't just appear. Someone invented it. Someone cared. And in the end, someone new always takes up the banner and pushes forward. I am... Um, I need the tech officer's sign-off on these schematics. Any thoughts on how to do this? A little honesty and humility will go a long way. Gil, may I get a moment of your time? <laughs> okay. I thought we settled this. What's going on? I saved the Tempest schematics for you. It'll be easier with them on hand. Seeing her drawn out down to the basics, she's kind of beautiful. Oh, right. You never saw. Yeah, look at the arc here. That's artistry. And there. Ah, oh, there we go. Everyone's getting along. Anything I can help with? No, you're good. I should get back. Sounds good. Okay. All right, we've chat chatted to everyone. We've got more things to do. Shocking, I know. All right, good, we're done. Back over here, Jesus. Going back and forth so often. It's not like the other Mass Effect games where you could pretty much 100% most of the planets before moving on. Taking a while. my new best friend. Ah, Ryder, I'd like to introduce you to my new best friend. What's your name again? <laughs> Samrick. Right, right. Samrick here has been so sympathetic about Pock being stolen. He used to run with our pal Kalinda, and he knows where her crews congregate. Safe houses, rallying points, etc. Well, that makes Samrick a truly important person. He's having some trouble understanding that. Look, uh, I appreciate the drinks and the flattery and all, but Kalinda doesn't take kindly to people discussing her business interests. She busted me up pretty bad when she kicked me out of her outfit. I don't really want to repeat. You're sitting in an open bar on Kadara Port with us. Kalinda will know, and she'll assume the worst. Yeah, and she probably won't be satisfied the first 30 or 40 times you scream your innocence. So you might as well tell us what we want to know. At least that way you get another free drink. Well, shit. Guess I can't argue with that. And I am still <laughs> thirsty. Thanks, Ryder. I think he'll cooperate now. I'll know where to look for Pox soon. Excellent. Go to location on Elden. Oh, that one hit me hard, Umi. What 
do you call it? Combat juice. Ha! What's in it? Everything. <laughs> and it still couldn't take a Krogan down. Off to Elodin we go. Was it really worth coming all the way back to bloody Kadara for that? me. Hello, now orbiting Kadara. Thanks, CV. Oh, here we go, over here. probably pop into the flop house as well not the flop house uh, where Anya is, is that her name Ania see if she's got any more uh, gifts for us going but you're all the way over there so first thing I'm going to do is just pop over here see if there's any extra extra supplies all right geez it took a while to load in Temperature at the Paradise is currently 32 degrees Celsius, Pathfinder. That's quite a change. The vault really did its job. Yay! No more, no more dying in the sunlight. No, nothing. Boo. All right, fair enough. It was worth checking. Uh, what's the nearest one to you? That one. Must you always be at the most inaccessible of places? This isn't how we thought it was gonna go. But one good thing, I get to see a new galaxy. How many people can say that? That's the spirit. Yeah. 
Leave you lot to it, I'm busy. Scavenger said Don't care. Damn it. Abandoned. They scuttled everything. Well, we're here. Might as well search it. Hello. Ryder, he's got Pock. She's broken, though. Guess Kalinda didn't take very good care of her. Hey, I don't want any trouble. I found the site abandoned. By scavenger law, it's all mine. We're not here to fight you for it. That's a relief. I mean, good thing. Well, I'm a businessman, you see, so I'm willing to sell if you see anything you like. You ever hear of an Asari named Kalinda Terev? Kalinda to... Nope, can't say I have. You, uh, looking for her, or working for her? You know her. We're not with her, so you can relax. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. That name was never mentioned, and please, don't mention it again. Did you see where the crew that used this site went? You're treading dangerously close to mentioning that someone I asked you not to name. <clears throat> No idea where they went. They've been picking remnant sites clean all over. Never leave anything worthwhile behind. But uh, they screwed up and left some choice items here, though. How much for that broken observer? What, this thing? Yeah, it may look trash, but I assure you it's easy to fix right up. In fact, I could do it myself and make a killing, so uh, no discounts. Right. This guy's gonna put her back together. Let's get down to business. Okay, look, what do you think is fair for the observer? Take this. And consider yourself lucky. Yep, that'll do. Pleasure doing business with you. I'll get her to the Tempest and put her together. Thank you, Ryder. Maybe this Kalinda nightmare is over. Don't start going naive on me, PB. <sighs> yeah. Regardless, I can upgrade my remnant scanner now. Come see me back at the ship. Well, that was easy. Sure. All right, we can go now. Yeah, those weird little bug things. All right, PB, how you doing? PB's been looking for you. Thanks, Kalo. There you are. Hi. Okay, who stole PB and put you in her clothes? Not funny. It's a little funny. Okay, it's a little funny. I received this. Hey, babe. Sorry I broke your pet. It lacked versatility. Couldn't keep up. Maybe I'll do the same with your other new toy. Ta. She means you. I hate her. Really? Are you sure about that? Oh, I don't know. It's not that she took my bot and broke her. We got Pock back and I repaired her. Better than ever. Now my scanner's fully upgraded and sweeping the cluster for remnant signals. We won. So what's the problem? It's just drummed up feelings I thought I'd put behind me. Turns out I just buried them. This is what happens when you let people in. You acquire baggage. I travel light, damn it. No baggage. Letting people in can be life-changing. In the best way. In a never-been-done way. I want to, but also I don't. That's the problem with strings. Too complicated. I let Kalinda become important to me. Look where that ended up. Now you've become, or you're becoming, important. But you need to know, I resist checking out of this hotel every day. 
With accommodations like these, I don't blame you. You are funny. I just need a little space. Time to think. Hopefully, my now Remtech-infused scanner will pick up something amazing and make all this Kalinda trouble worthwhile. What was that? Oh, my phone's no longer on silent. Let's change that. Hey, Park, how you doing? Glad to be back. Good. Wait for PB to find, uh, to PB scanner to find something. All right. In that case, then let's go to Aya. Get Liam's request out out of the way. Then I have to just uh, go through all the side quests I've missed and see so if we can tidy those up. Because there's a few. Alright, Liam, here we go. Is there a way for me to check people's loyalty missions on here? Make sure I've got them all. Fast travel, let's get this out of the way. All right, Liam, how's it going? Good to be back here, ready to hit those scans. What am I looking for? Baran called out supplies that may have useful properties for our tech. Just need to get Sam's eye on them. All right. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Just come grab a table with me. When trouble. Uh, Kev, uh, felt the power of the resistance and they know the end is coming. Our victories on Vold are only the beginning of what we can achieve, but we can't, de can't defeat the enemy without your help. If you're tired of living in fear, if you believe we were meant to. Okay. All right. Standard army propaganda stuff. Nothing too nefarious. Pathfinder, you're good here. We'll worry about the data another time. Liam, what's going on? I uh, figured we should end up somewhere nice and open. You were being cased. If someone wants trouble, I'm not afraid to give it to them. Ruling in the market won't help. I don't blame them for being angry. I wanted to get data that would help yields at our outposts. Baran told me what to scan, but I called it off. I still owe her, but it's better than pissing off some gouging hardliner. Sorry I didn't clue you in. It's a security thing. Food is security. Was this an attempt to copy their methods? Steal secrets? We're not competing companies. It's about learning to live here. Remember my Tempest freakout? I tried proper channels. Got blocked by the Angara and the Nexus. There's only so much Jar can tell us, so I did what we do back in Crisis Response. Bend the rules. 
You do what you have to, but let's not make a habit of it. I don't want to. Like I said, I don't blame them for getting cross. The last people who showed up out of the blue were the Ket, the ultimate users. I don't want us getting lumped in with them, and I really, really don't want to ruin the market. Street food and shooting the shit with you? Feels normal. About time something did. Let's not push our luck. We'll save the market for another day. Uh, good idea, Pathfinder. We've enough trouble, and probably more coming. Yeah, probably. All right, then. That was weird. Ah, speak to PB. Ryder, Liam's looking for you. You have hey. new email at your hey there, terminal, no. Pathfinder. Huh? Funny you should ask. I need to know, if I had something really important to do, could I count on you to help? To come along? Important important? Or stress relief important? <laughs> this time, important important. Thanks to my newly remnant augmented scanner, I'm on to something big. Hear that signal? Best I can tell, it's coming from a piece of raw remnant programming tech. A building block in an unused state. My eyes bulge thinking what we might be able to learn from it, or do with it. It's like a rem tech wild card. Kind of mystery I live for. I have to get it. There's no time to waste, right? What are the implications of this device, whatever it is? At the very least, it'll strengthen our bridge to Remnant technology. Even just getting closer data readings could help us break down Remnant programming, use their tech more efficiently. I need to find it. Like, now. Well, now that now's gone, so... now. Okay. That's it? No preamble, no further interrogations, just okay? You're in? I'm in. Yes! That your game means the world to me. Loading the coordinates into the galaxy map. Consider me primed and ready. Nice. Uh, email from Liam. So let's have a look at that. Uh, Pathfinder, I need your help with, uh, with a thing, a big thing. Can't go into it in message. And you're not going to like why, but I can explain. Come talk to me. Uh, no time to type. Come, come, come. Yep, okay. Hi, Ryder. It's Sid. I want to say thank you for coming to help me. I guess you didn't know it was me at the start, huh? But that's why it's great. I didn't tell you anything. My bad, sorry. But you went ahead and helped anyway, even though you knew it was probably going to be dangerous. You put yourself out there for other people, and that's why you're the Pathfinder. No, our Pathfinder. And thanks for having Vetra's back. I know you're there for her, which means she can be there for me. That means a lot. Don't tell her I said this. You're awesome, Sid. Ah, good job, Sid. Go to past ten in the in Yeah, I think I know that system. Alright, let's go and talk to Liam. There you go. Something I should know about? Hey, I was just... How you doing? I'm... Great, just, uh... I told you I screwed up, and I have. Remember Verand? I contacted Yangara. She's gone. The whole group is gone. Sudden. So, yeah, up for a rescue? Because if we don't, we could be next. Of course we are. Why wouldn't we go after them? Yeah, um, because I gave Varand Nexus data and nerve points. Why would you do that? We need to know how to live here. I tried asking. I tried taking. 
no one would help outsiders. So I took initiative, gave her data and text so she could mod it. Varand was, she is a good risk. But if pirates interrogate her or barter her to the Ket, it's our heads. Why didn't you alert everyone immediately? If they have her info, they have our comms. The Nexus goes on alert, they'll know. Varan's people are tough. They'd have fought if they thought there was a chance. Something made them think there wasn't. I won't risk that. Bad enough, I have to involve you. Like I said, I screwed up. We'll take care of it before it's a problem. <sighs> it's already a problem. I got a lead from a trader. A grainy visual. We find that system, we find our bad guys. I also asked Bradley for people to help intercept. I thought they might want to pitch in. How are a bunch of settlers supposed to help? That's what he said. We're on our own. I'll forward the visual to the bridge for when you want to start hunting. And... Sorry. Uh, Liam, you idiot. Alright. Let's head to one of these systems so we're already there for the next episode. Cost it all in in a system that we haven't actually been to. Maybe this one's just turned up. The heart of this system is a massive red giant, like our tourists back home. Far more remote, I'm afraid. All right. And with that, now we're here. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I'll be Sigma later. This has been Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.